Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate the features, functionality, and the programming of our Digifire 7 controller. Before I get into the demonstration of how to actually program this controller, I want to go over some of the features and the functionality that are important to know before you actually begin using this controller. Firstly, our controllers can only operate on 12 volts DC. There is no capability of using mains current or 120 volts or 240 volts or alternating current of any kind. Secondly, many people do not realize that the tip on the power cord of these controllers has a fuse in it. If you're for any reason you're having problems with your controller, it's not powering up, and the LEDs are not coming on, remove the tip and inspect that fuse. That's always the first thing to do. So it's important to know when you get this controller, do not cut the tip off. Many people seem to want to do that, and when you do it, it voids your warranty. And sometimes people are frying their electronics by doing that, so please don't do that. Thirdly, there are six outputs on this controller, and they are one, two, three, and four, which are programmable, and five and six, which are dedicated to 12 volt non-programmable output. You can use 5 and 6 to power 12 volt devices as long as they have a male RCA connector that can mate with these plugs. This is your, for your heaters. You can run heaters on 5 and 6 if you want. They just won't be controlled. This is the type of connector that we use with our outputs. And there you go. That's the Duminator heater right there. But we can only use RCA. Fourthly, we have a low voltage function cut off on all of our controllers and it's designed in there to protect your battery from too deep a discharge. Certain battery types can be damaged by getting discharged below 11 and a half volts. So we put this function into here to prevent that from happening. And it is indicated by this LED right here. I'll turn the voltage down on my power supply below 11.6 and you will see that that low voltage LED indicator is now flashing and the outputs on the heaters are now shut off. I'm going to put the voltage back up. You can see the low voltage indicator goes out and now we have power to outputs 1, 3, and 4. On this particular controller I've actually got output 2 off. We're going to now program this controller and to access the programming mode we press these two keys at the bottom together at the same time. So here we go. I have previously programmed this controller uh, and output 1 I put at 90%. Note that the default setting for all of our controllers when it comes to you is 50%. To change the programming on this you press the triangle key. I will set this to the default setting of 50%. You can see that the LED to output 1 is on and all the others are off. When I press the enter key, it enters that setting into output 1 and now moves to output 2. You can see that output 2 is off. There are no LEDs illuminated in that central bar. I'll set it to 60%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Enter. Output 3 is currently at 70%. I will think I'll leave it there. Enter. Output 4 is at 30. I'll put it at 50%. Enter. Now all the LEDs come on and this controller is now functioning according to the settings that you have programmed into it. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful.